Okay, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of the math behind the modules. All right, this is lesson 18, finding a rate by dividing two quantities. Finding a rate by dividing two quantities. All right, classroom mathematical modeling exercises. At Fun Burger, the burger master can make hamburgers at a rate of four burgers per minute. In order to address the heavy volume of customers, he needs to continue at this rate for 30 minutes. If he continues to make hamburgers at this pace, how many hamburgers will the burger master make in 30 minutes? The burger master. I bet you my burgers are better than his. But anyhow, let's take a look. So the key here is four burgers per minute. So I'm gonna write that. And I'm going to write it as a fraction instead of sideways at an angle like that. Four, and I could think of that as four over one. Four burgers, because anything divided by one is itself. Four burgers per minute. Four burgers per one minute. See? Okay. Now it says he has to continue this pace for 30 minutes. How many hamburgers will he master, will the burger master make in 30 minutes? So then I multiply and we use a dot for multiplication. We need to start getting into the habit of not using an X for times because X is going to be a variable in algebra. So four burgers over a minute, eight times 30 minutes. And if I write it like this, and just think of that as being over one because we can divide anything by one and it's still itself. 10 divided by one is 10. All right, so now that we have it set up like this, this is a lesson in canceling out terms and using the right terminology with our answer. So if I look at this, I, I see that a minute in the numerator and a minute in the denominator are going to cancel out. Because anything divided by itself is one and it just goes away. One times 30 is still 30. Okay, so I still have this four times 30. So four times 30 is 120. And the word that's left over is burgers okay. and we answered the question how many hamburgers will the burger master make in a half an hour 120 it's a lot of burgers all right number two chandra is an editor at the new york gazette her job is to read each article before it is printed in the newspaper i don't think they do that anymore i see misprints constantly in the news all right anyhow if chandra can read 10 words per second. How many words can she read in 60 seconds? So again, I write this ratio. So 10 words per second times how long, how many can she read in 60 seconds? Okay, I'm not gonna divide this by one. We need to see that that is just a, a denominator and a whole, those cancel. And now we have 10 times 60 words is the word that's that over. So how many words can she read in 60 seconds? 600 words. Okay. Use the table below to write down your work and answers for the stations. All right. We did a, an, ex, uh, an exercise in class. I am not going to recreate that, so we're going to skip over that. Wow, that was a quick and easy lesson. So here's a review. We can convert measurement units using rates. The information can be used to further interpret the problem. Here's an example. Five gallons per minute times 10 minutes. Notice how they cancel the minutes here. And five times 10 is 50. And the word gallon was the only word left over. And that is part of your solution. You have to use your unit of measurement. 50 does not answer the question. The reader has to know what we're talking about. 50 what? 50 newspapers? 50 words? 50 hamburgers? No, 50 gallons. Okay, now go do your props.